So good morning and welcome to this video tutorial on Blender modeling. Welcome, strap yourself in and get ready because we're going to be uh, doing a tutorial on some basic modeling. And uh, I figured to start out instead of actually doing something ridiculously boring, we're going to do something that's interesting and kind of cool. So what are we going to be doing today? We're going to be building a model of R2-D2 from Star Wars that if you've ever seen the model before, you can see how simple it is but how cool it looks in the end so it could be that when you're finished with this model at the very end you could have something really cool to work with and maybe texture yourself depends on how far you, you take it that part's up to you so the first thing we're going to want to do is going to go ahead and take this cube right here that's always uh, in blender when you start up and go ahead and hit delete and get rid of that cool that's done so the next thing we are going to want to do is we're going to get all of our render all of our reference material so to do that, the first thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and click on the either number pad three or click on X and switch to front view. And then you're going to select and click on shift A because you're going to be creating a reference image that you're going to use to model R2D2. So after you shift A, this menu comes up that's going to give you all the options in terms of what you can pick to start modeling. So instead of all any of these, I'm going to focus on this one right here, which is the reference one. Click on that. And when you click on that, it's going to ask you to select where you want your reference images to come. So I'm going to go ahead and look to my computer and find where the hell that I've put that. Let's see, 3D. And we are looking for R2D2 Blender. That's where I put my reference material. I will be including it with uh, preparations for today. So you already have it, so you have nothing to think about. So I'm going to go ahead and since I'm in the front view, I'm going to click on select front. And as you can see, it's already created a nice little plane for you to, to start to work with. And when you click on your center mouse button and you rotate, as you can see, it's already been placed on the front plane. So that, now that that's done, I'm going to want to go ahead and put in the left one or the one on the other perspective. So I'm going to rotate this way, click on my Y or number pad 3, and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go ahead and shift A, image, reference, and this time around, I'm going to go ahead and choose side. So you can see now that I have my side view and such, and then the final one that I'm going to be needing in. Normally, sometimes you're going to need a front and a back. It depends on what you're building. Like, for example, I'm building a Lego Mandalorian at the moment, which means I need to have a front, back, top, side view for it. But this is a little bit more simple since, as you can see, you're basically building a uh, glorified uh, cylinder. So now that we have the side view put in, we're going to go ahead and take it right here, select it, and you hit M for move believe that's what it is no it's G for move and you see how it starts to go all crazy well I don't want it to look like that so when you click on G to move if you do X Y and Z your model is going to move on one of the axes so I'm going to hit X wrong direction right click to undo it I'm going to go ahead G again and then I'm going to hit Y and then as you can see now Y it's moving in the right direction but that's not the one I want to move so I'm going to click on the side view so I'm going to go ahead and click G for move and then Y. And then as you can see now, it's been placed a little bit to the side because you don't want all the reference images to get into the wrong place because you have to obviously be able to uh, navigate to model it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the, the, the front one. So I'm going to go ahead G and then X. And as you can see now, it's moved a little bit back. We could be a little bit pr more precise afterwards, but let's go ahead and get all the references images in. After that, I'm going to rotate click on Z to show my top view and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same shift a and then image reference and then top so what's the next part the next part we want to do is we want to orientate all our pieces where we have something uniform the lines with the zero zero or the zero on the Z axis so everything sort of has a ground plane that we can use as reference so if I go ahead and choose number pad number one, it's gonna take me to front view. I'm gonna go ahead and select this one right here. I'm gonna hit G for move, and then I'm gonna go ahead and say Z because I wanted to go upwards, and then I am gonna go ahead and move this more or less where it lines up. Let's see, I think, do I see it if I see toggle X-ray? No. Okay, so we have our reference image, and that's more or less lined up with the starting point so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for this one right here X line it up with the front view and then I'm gonna hit G followed by Z Z take it and more or less line this up 
where it's facing. As you can see, the little feet right here are touching where it's zero on the Z axis. Just make sure this one's correct as well. See, not quite, so G, Z. And then boom, as you can see, now it's lined up. So you can see I accidentally moved it a tiny bit, so I wanna make sure the center of RTD2 also lines up with the center of the mesh. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit G, and I believe it should be Y this time. Nope, right click so you don't do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say G, and then hit X. And as you can see, now it's moving. And now more or less, the reference image is lined up in the right plane. So that one's done, that's cool. Let's see if this is the same for the front. And before you do this, you have to make sure everything's lined up because if not, of course, you can start create issues for when you start modeling this. So I'm gonna go ahead, G and X. Nope, right click, wrong one. G and Y. And as you can see now, I start to sort of align it. Boom, that's good. And then the top one, as you can see, it's probably rotated in the wrong orientation. So I'm gonna go ahead this, click on the top view plane. And if I go ahead and press R for rotate, oh, wrong one. R for rotate, I'm gonna take this and, and again with rotate, you could do the same deal. So if I do R plus X, wrong orientation, right click to undo, R plus Y, wrong orientation, as you can see, and then R plus Z, and then I have it more or less how I want to line it up. Cool, so once that's done, you're gonna go up here, and then you're gonna save it as, because one of the things you have to do as a 3D artist, and if you, this is automatically, is whatever the shortcut to save is, learn it, because once you've lost hours worth of work, you're gonna hate yourself. So if you're not automatically in your head ready to do control R every time, you better get used to it, because once you lose work, you're gonna hate yourself for having to go back and do hours worth of work, because you never bothered to save. So let's see, RTD2 Blender, and then we're gonna call it R2D2, pretty obvious, save, good. All right, now that we have all our reference images lined up, maybe I wanna line it up where it kinda of makes a cube so I have something to work with. So let's go ahead and go to top view right here. And I'm gonna select this one. And I'm gonna say G and let's assume it's X, is it X? Yes, it is. Line it up where it kinda of fits with here. And then I'm gonna do this one right here. G and then it must be Y this time, yep, boom. And then if I hold the mouse click, press it down as I rotate, as you can see, I already have something to work with. So that's fucking awesome. So the first thing we wanna do now is we're gonna go ahead and create the geometry. So we're gonna go ahead and create his little helmet right here, or the top of his uh, R2D2's head. So how are we gonna do that? We're gonna go ahead and click Shift A, it's gonna bring up your add menu and you're gonna go up to meshes and you are gonna do a UVW sphere. As you can see now, you've, when you've added the UVW sphere, you have a basic sphere. And if you look to this little side menu right here, this is where you get to choose and it only comes up when you create something for the first time. So this is where you get to choose how many segments your, your uh, sphere is gonna have, how many rings, what's gonna be the radius and such. You could also choose the position. So let's say position. We want it to be a little bit higher. We're kind of, let's go ahead and use his little visor thing here as a point where we can have a reference and such. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take, start taking down the radius. And then kind of adjust this. So as you can see, the first initial alignment you're gonna be doing is kind of work with here. So if you zoom in, see radius, let's go ahead and take this to 0.68. Cool. Okay, and so once you've done that, now you've got your uh, your basic parameters. Generate UVs will already unwrap it for you. So now that I have a good basic parameters to work with, uh, let's say this is gonna be a, something a little bit more for games. So usually I like to work with even numbers because it makes it easier to split or either to mirror. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and take it to 20. As you can see now, it's reduced the amount of tries. So once you've decided on what you wanna have, this menu is gonna disappear 
and if you have to change it, I believe there's another menu, but I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's best always just to do it on first intent to make sure that your rotation and all your segments are in the, in the right place. So let's see, I'm gonna rotate, let's see, top view. Top view, I have a place where I can split it at the center. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video now because we're gonna keep this to 10 minute segments and uh, I will start, see you in part two.